Michael here with RVs of America, Black Series Premier Dealer here in Utah. Um, we're super excited today, I am, to show you another modification. This will be with the Mick Hitch. And this is another type of off-road hitch system. And the Black Series comes with one too, and I'd like to show you how awesome theirs is as well, and what you get standard. We're over next to our Dominator now, but before I show you the Black Series hitch, I'm gonna show you what's kind of standard in the US. Um, so Pharaoh used to pull his chariots with the same thing. Not really, I have no idea when they started making these, but it's, it's been around a long time. Um, I'm sure you could Google it and find out. I did not. So this is a normal ball, and so a lot of trailers use in the US. That's standard, it's normal for all your travel trailers. Um, some issues arise for some people, especially in Australia. So Gordon Tregoning, he invented the polyblock system in 1947. So 60, 70, 70 odd years ago, because he didn't think this was good enough for off-roading and for rougher terrain and things like that, because it would bind, possibly pop off. So a lot of things like that. So on the Black Series, we have the polyblock system, which is really awesome because it gives you a lot more articulation and it cannot pop off because it's got a pin. So you take this off here and on your normal hitch, obviously you want to torque these down, but on your normal hitch that you buy, you'll swap off the ball or maybe won't come with the ball. And then you put on the Black Series hitch and drop your bolt through there. Oops. There you have it. I'm not gonna torque this down. Just hand tight for demonstration. So once you get that guy on there, you'll back up your truck, get it on there, and then you have a pin that drops right down into it, like that. Put your pin through. And now there's no way that will eject off like a ball would. So that solved the problem there. And then it actually can articulate way more. I mean, you got 90 degrees, I mean, slightly over 90 degrees. You probably hit your truck first, but you got 90 degrees that way, 90 degrees that way. And then it actually can rotate 90 degrees this way. I don't think you'll ever be in that kind of position, but it can. And then you're up and down, which is like going up a super steep hill or going through washes or something. You know, it's 20 to 22 degrees in those directions, which this is very superior to anything that we have on a standard trailer in America. So awesome system. You're well off, capable to do just about anything. And so another added advantage with that side-to-side -side oscillation is that that takes off a lot of the stress on the frame of your trailer and on your truck towing vehicle um, because it has that free motion. With a ball, you eventually get to a point that it will either stop and start causing the stress or pop off. Don't want your trailer to pop off and fall down a cliff when you're off-roading. <laughs> Never. All right, now that you've seen the Black Series hitch and how awesome it is, we're gonna go hook it up to our truck, show you how you hook up all by yourself. Shane's gonna demonstrate that. And then we're gonna bring you to the shop and then we're gonna switch it out to a Mick hitch. Okay, so we're gonna have Shane hook up the Dominator to the Black Series Polyblock hitch system all alone. I'm not gonna guide him or help him so that you can kind of get an idea of what it's like doing it by yourself. Shane has hooked up multiple times. He does have a backup camera on his truck, so that is helpful. Um, but it's still give a good idea. We'll see if he can do it in one shot. All right, here he comes. And he's getting out.
think you got too much uh, tension. Dominator. <laughs> you got a little more movement. Yeah. There is movement, though, on the big trailers, just not as much. Yep. And it's just kind of... And you're hooked up. Right on. We have the make hitch installed now. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I'll just tell you a little bit about make hitch. Mick hitch has been in business for 10 years now, um, making these guys. They have a couple different models, different weight ratings. So we have a bigger one for the bigger caravans. This is the one that's meant for this one. It's they call it the 3,500 ton. Some of the other things you can do with this hitch, which is nice, is you can mount it on top like we have, or you can mount it underneath and that will bring down the point that it hooks up so then you might not have to get such a high rise or a low drop depending on your truck. So you can get a more straight um, hitch on your truck, which that is helpful. <laughs> as well as the other thing uh, that's really awesome about this is just the parts that go into it. See these U, these U joints here? They're very universal. If you're into vehicles at all, a lot of drive lines use these type of things. So this is a very common part that you could get replacements for. Mick Hitch has them as well. Um, and then here, you can pop these out and put in a half inch drive and you can tighten them up. Because over time, you know, some things wear and whatnot. So it could start to get a little droopy like that. And you just tighten these up and then it gets its strength back in there so you can have it easily hooked up um, the other thing one of the biggest things and advantage besides the beefy strength it gives you and the easy hookup is how much articulation it has because you can go all the way that way over 90 degrees this way over 90 degrees that way over 90 degrees up and then all the Arctic, all the oscillation to the side. So it has over 90 degrees in every direction, which is quite frankly, more than you probably ever need. But it does it, therefore you won't have the strain like other hitches create on your trailer and on your truck. And the other nice advantage with these, it's pretty easy to set it up with a weight distribution slash weight control setup, um, which a lot of customers like to have that extra sway control. Um, now, the MIG hitch, it's Australian, if we didn't say that before, just so you know. <laughs> um, and the thing that's really nice about it is it will be the easiest hookup you've ever done with any trailer. Um, because the way they designed it and it's got a little huge opening that it just guides it in and locks up. So it, some people that have the Black Series, some of our customers, they've said it's kind of hard to hook up sometimes, you know. 
Me personally, I've hooked up so many times now to a Black Series, it's gone pretty easy. Um, so I don't have too much complaints about it, but I feel that this is gonna be extremely easy. And I think our first time is gonna be easy. Where the first time we hooked up Black Series, I, I did struggle a little bit, to be honest. So we're gonna see how that hooks up. We got the other end on Shane's truck. We're gonna back it up, see how he does it for his first time. Um, and let's move on to that. All right, Shane's getting in his truck. He's gonna back up for his very first time ever to the McHitch. So this is very raw footage coming to you live. Um, so before he did it with the poly block in the Black Series, which you saw him do, and he's done that probably more than anybody in America. <laughs> um, so here we go. Let's see how close he gets. Probably just keep going. Oh, really? Yeah, look at it. I'm gonna drop it a little bit. Maybe? No? I suppose it could just slide in, right? Yeah, I'm gonna drop it a little bit. Alright. We haven't adjusted the truck. Alright, let's see this slide in. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You got it in twice. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Slats. I I went too fast and <laughs> pushed it back to back. So wait. So now this pushes down right here. And Comes with a nifty little lock, so nobody can take it off. Oh, that's sweet, actually. So that goes in there, I guess. So that yep. Goes in right there, and then that goes in right. I'm gonna turn it. Turn the key. Probably could have got it in one shot. Yeah, it would have filled. It would have funneled in. It would have funneled in. But that is so easy. That's like really, really easy and, and cool. And look, it actually looks cool. It's shiny. It's like super shiny. It matches the rest of the frame. Yeah, it does. That's awesome. There we go. Well, do you have any last words there? That was. Uh, I mean, I've hooked, up, I've hooked up thousands of American trailers, and I've hooked up that poly block a lot. Um, and that was definitely that was my first shot. Like I, I mean, I came out and lowered it a little bit, and that was that. that I mean, without a doubt, that's the easiest trailer ever to hook up. That, that, that was there's you have to be pretty just bad at backing up. I mean, I do have a camera right here, right? So that made it kind of easy. But I mean, even if you look out your window and get it straight close enough, you, that was pretty easy. So that's awesome. I think that's awesome. I'm like, I think it's sweet. I don't know why everybody wouldn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, there you have it, folks. There is the Mick Hitch mod that we are offering now for any of you that have a Black Series or are going to order a Black Series. We can hook you up and get this setup going for you. Real easy. And there you go, look, unhooking, boom. And it's off. Just like that, drive away. Yep, and fast it's and easy. So like, you can order these in Australia, but it probably costs you more to freight it or fly it here, it's because it's air flight. Um, so we are ordering them, we're getting them ordered in bulk. So we'll probably actually be able to give it to you for a better deal than if you were to try to buy it online. So definitely if you are gonna do it, we're gonna be a distributor for them in the US. Um, give us a call and we'll get you, whether you want us to do it for you or you just wanna swap it out and do it yourself, give us a call and we'll hook you up with that. Like, subscribe, add some comments. Until next time, happy camping.